Thursday lunchtime, that means we talk boxing. Spencer Oliver alongside uh, Mr. Simon Jordan and myself. And we are live on Talk Sport, also coming to you live on YouTube and Facebook. And if you're watching, you will see Derek Chisora is with <coughs> us as well. Delighted having Derek along. Very shortly, we're going to hear from uh, Fabio Wardley in the build-up to his fight in Riyadh next month against Fraser Clark. The all-British fight between Wardley and Clark. A draw first time around. Who will win it this time around? But top of the bill on the 12th of October in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. Artur Betabiev against Dmitry Bivol. Uh, these two, of course, had a promotion yesterday uh, for this very fight. Simon, I, I tried to get from you who you think may get the better of whom, and I think you just erred on the side of Better BF, do you? I went Better BF, yeah. Better yeah. BF, what about the men who have been in there and done it? Spencer, who do you take? Yeah, I lean towards Better BF. I think that he's going to be physically too strong, and I tell, I'm leaning towards Better BF. Great fight, though. Great fight. What about these two fighters, uh, Derek? Better be Evan and Bivol. So okay. serious about what they do, aren't I, they? I, I pick Bivol. Mm. Bivol's agent. He's a uh, Eddie Hans guy, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, I pick him because he's taller. He's got longer reach. You trying to do a deal with Eddie Hunt? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm, I'm just trying I'm just, because because no, because I've seen I've seen the other guy yeah. fight people, Anthony people, Yard. People yeah, yeah, and he was, yeah. he was struggling with Anthony Yard, and Anthony Yard was yeah. like and, boxing him. And Bivol scored Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, like, all over so, the scores were close. Yeah, he scored him. Yeah, so, so, but Alvarez obviously. So you seem like you're changing. It's a good fight. No, you're, great but you're changing your mind now. No, I'm not. No. Okay, cool. Oh, no, no. No. Okay, fine. Okay. Uh, also, the undercard there, and what an undercard yeah, it is, Derek. Jai Opataya against yes. Jack Massey. Opataya. He's just a killing machine, isn't he? Yeah. What, he is. what, what, what a character this guy is. It's gonna be exciting. I'm gonna be actually. I'm gonna be front row seats for that one day. Yeah. I, I hope I get a visa or get a ticket to go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Sarah, Sam, are you coming? Well. Uh, it's a no. great fight. Can you see anybody beating up a time? No. Can you see Massey getting near it? Listen, it's about opportunity. Massey's gonna take that opportunity. You think you go back like 18 months? two years ago Jack Massey was going to pack it in because there was no opportunity on the table for him you know he was working a, as a labourer or something on a building site and he sort of turned his career around won a European title last time out Isaac against Chamberlain, Isaac Chamberlain yeah, yeah mm. putting a great performance he's earned that opportunity but oh man Opatire is the monster of the division actually could go up to heavyweight were you did you and, I mean, did, I mean, were you as impressed with him as I thought I wasn't as impressed with him as I thought I was going to be against Maris Breedis no he, he, he struggled but Breedis is, could be a bogeyman if you like because he struggled twice against him <coughs> yeah, you know after dominating early Breedis come back into it so that aside yeah but Opatire now for me is uh, that's a tough fight for Jack Massey there's some great fights in the card there are, and Wardley against Clark is another Fabio Wardley Fraser Clark um Spencer, a lot of people first time round couldn't really pick anything between the two of them, hence it was a draw. What about this time? Will it live up to the hype again? Yeah, I think it will. Stylistically, I think it will. I just got a feeling that Fraser Clark might just have enough now. He will, it, he'll have that little bit of adaptability to maybe change things up slightly. And I fancy Fraser Clark to maybe just nick this one. It's a great fight, though. Why are you <laughs> shaking your head over there? What's the matter with you? Said that. And you're just following in behind oh, me. You're co oh, is that right? Sorry, I, I think you're that. lying. I said precisely that. Oh, did you? I said that out of this fight, that Fabio Wardley... say that? I picked Fabio for the first fight, and I felt that if he, if he was going to get... He had an opportunity to get Fraser out of there, and he didn't. <laughs> yes. And Fraser will gain more from this fight than Fabio will. And yeah, he just nicked everything. Derek, 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 obviously, where are you, Derek, on it? <laughs> Derek, you obviously have to bow to Simon's knowledge. Thank you. Uh, Simon, who once lost a fight in a laundrette. <laughs> but what do you think? Wardley Clark, <laughs> second time, who wins it? Um, I'm going to sit on the fence on this one because I love both guys. So mm. I'm You're not in here to sit in the fence, Mr. Chisora. Tell us. <sighs> Listen, who will win it? Are we going to get the same fight we got bank holiday on Sunday in O2 Arena? I don't think so. We're going to get a good fight, but he's not going to be as electric as bank holiday this beginning of the year. So You don't uh, think it be as brutal, no? No, I don't think so. Interesting. Why? I, 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 I don't think so. Cause, uh, Why? I don't know, but I don't, I don't think so. Because remember, Saudi will be so hot. The guys are gonna travel there. You know, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be well, well for for them. It's gonna be like wow, I'm in Saudi. I have to like you know, it's gonna be so much for them to. For you them think to, there'll be a to, bit to more thought process? Yeah. What they do. But Wardley yeah. doesn't fight like that. Wardley's one of them guys that comes in there. He goes, there ain't no game plan. He'll just until he'll he just gets his nose broken and <laughs> he goes for it. it. Yeah. yeah, but 
as I said, I love both guys. No, no, in other way, but I just like both. Guys. Yeah, they, but they are both cracking guys. In fact, uh, Derek Fabio Wardley was in breakfast this morning. He said, second time around, you bet this will live up to the hype. The first fight was an absolute banger. Um, it was <laughs> when everyone ever always talks to me about it. They always say how great it was, and I always say, yeah, it was. It was great for you lot to watch. It's not <laughs> so much great for me to wake up on the next day, but. It's all fun and games. It comes part of the sport. It's great to be a part of such a memorable fight like that. And the next one's just going to be even bigger and even better. Doing it this time over in Saudi, Riyadh season. So we're gonna we're gonna make it even more, even more sorry of a barnstormer. Where where does the winner of this one land in the heavyweight division? Do you think? Spence. Well, he kicks on for sure. He puts himself, he puts his name up there. I mean, it doesn't put him into a world class bracket. I think they've got to look to go down that European route and maybe, um, yeah, look look at the European level before stepping up to world class. But the winner certainly kicks on. And for the loser, depends how they lose, as on how they come back. But there's opportunities out there. There's loads of heavyweights out there at the moment. These fights are being made. But look, we're just blessed to get this fight again because the first one was a barnstormer. Mm. And I think stylistically, we will get the same again. Derek, you said there, you know, it wasn't much fun waking up the following morning after it. I remember Wardley had a a serious nose injury. What's what's the worst moment you've ever had the morning after? What was the worst morning after you've ever had after a fight? I think it was was my last fight. My, my, My stomach was hurting. My jaw was hurting. I could not eat anything. I was only drinking my food at the time. Where was the fight I saw you in the dressing room? Was I think it might have, I can't remember. Was it Tyson Fury or when you was in the dressing rooms, you had the five guys because you always have the five guys in the dressing my, room yeah. and you couldn't open your jaw yeah, yeah. to bite the it, Yeah, it burger. happens. But that's part of the game. You know, that's why we love it. So that's why I've, you have to change your gum shoes all the time. But when you get into a proper b- brutal fight, forget about having your son to roast the next day, mate. It's going to take you at least like a week and a half to... <laughs> Get your get your taste buds going to get everything right in shape. You know what I'm saying. So you forget about everything. Oh, the only thing you can actually do is just watch TV, fall asleep, wake up. Watch TV, fall asleep, and wake up. And you just be drinking water. That's it. God, it's crazy. <laughs> Especially you. You caught up with uh, Chris Eubank Jr. yesterday, who, had, to say the least of it, a fair amount to say <laughs> about people like Hearn and Warren and Sarlin. But you spoke to him before the press conference. Um, and this was this was good because you put it to him. All right, Chris, when are you going to fight for a world title? You know, I'm trying not to look too idea of what you know what you're gearing up for. And for me, it's just about you know getting through October 12, putting on a great performance, building the relationship with Saudi, and um, you know then then taking down the big names or the world titles, either or. You know, it's, it's hard to kind of map out an exact plan, but there's so many names out there, there's so many big opportunities, um, guys with titles, without titles, it doesn't actually matter. As long as big fights are being made, I'm happy. And they're all in the process. I mean, Derek, what should he be going for? Big names or world titles? <sighs> you should go for anybody he wants. So yeah. I, th- I think he showed, without saying it, he showed an appetite for still wanting to get that fight with Conor Ben if and when he gets his when he gets his license back. He showed an appetite for that. I, th- I asked him about Yana back and going for a world title. I think he was looking at potential paydays and, and where that where, where that would take him. I asked him about Hamza Shiraz. He said he's not on the radar right now, even though he was offered a colossal amount of money not. for that one. Uh, um, yeah, I so I think not. that it's um no, he's an playing, interesting he's, one. He's playing the game. It's playing the game. You know, you they He's offer, a good business man. Yeah, sure. they offer you Hamza Shiraz, you say no. They offer you again, you say no. <laughs> Next minute you say, hey, <laughs> how much you pay? Have you, you, yeah, you, I, need, you, I need more. You always had a problem saying no, you don't, don't you? Like anyone that's offered to you, as in fight wise, you'll fight them. Yeah, but it depends on the, on the price. It's about price. Everybody, everybody always thinks it's risk about, reward, isn't it? No, no. But everybody always think about, oh, I want to fight for this title. No, you don't want to fight for titles. You want to fight for money because when it's all said okay. and no, me, I, I advise everybody out there, fight for money. Forget the titles because end of the day, when the game is all finished, you got your titles and the taxman wants his money. 
You can't say, oh, I'm an IBF champion, so you're going to... Nah, nah, forget that nonsense. I don't want that. Give me the money. I don't know. The IBF, mm. the IBF belt might be quite appealing to the tax man. It's, it's, nice, it's a nice bit of bling, to be Maybe. fair. Try that. No, thanks. Where's the money? I want uh, money. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you think of you, Bank Junior? Were you still to see something special from him, Derek? Listen, I think the British public are waiting for him and Conor Ben because he's never done it in history before. You, you're, you're squinting, you're squinting well, again. Why, why a 147 <laughs> fighter against a 168 fighter yeah. that are trading in their father's names. What's That's what that? they're doing. What's wrong with that? Well, because I think it's a nonsense. It's not. A, it's it, the, 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 if the public are being wanting because one's being banned for a problem and the other one talks a good game. And tragically, that's if that's what the public want, then give it to them what they want. Yeah. That's why I'm shaking my head, because I look at it and go, it's a 147 fighter fighting against somebody that's struggling to get to 160 and probably is better at 168. So, so, so we I, should not see that fight then? I don't think so, no. Okay. I, I would like to see the Hamza Shiraz fight. It I mean, despite, despite someone in your own weight category, that's a live for one. sure. Yeah, I know, but what I'm saying yeah, is that's a great fight. Who, that's who a wins great that fight? Who wins Hamza that fight? Shiraz. Hamza Shiraz, I think, yeah. You reckon? Well, what do you think? It knocks him into next week. Hamza Shiraz is a Absolutely. great fighter. No, I know he's a great fighter, but he's, Chris, he is good. Hasn't, Chris he hasn't, is good as he hasn't well. Been but tested. I think, he hasn't no. been tested. Yeah, no, but mm. the people like Ammo Williams, who was put in front of him, was meant to be the guy from America, yeah, and he yeah. just got blasted. systematically blasted <laughs> him out. Liam Williams, yeah, he Al- beat in Al- a Al- round. Alan Al- Williams, let me just be honest about it, yeah. He, where was he from? Chicago. He took an eight hour flight to London. Yeah. He took another six hours flight to, to Saudi. <laughs> the guy was jet lagged. <laughs> Do you understand? I'll keep it up. Hamza was pretty yeah. damn good there. No, no, no. Yeah, come no, on. No, no. The guy was jet lag, yeah. Okay. You destroyed a European champion. Hamza Shiraz style. is a great fighter. No, he's, he's a great He's going to be a world champion for no, sure. No, 100%. I love Hamza Shiraz. He even gave me a chef to come and cook for me. I thought, yeah. Probably. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that was nice. That was nice of him. But he told me, I said, I don't have to pay him, do I? He goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see that there's a familiar pattern here with Derek not paying? Yes, Can you not see paying. <laughs> Derek, don't worry. Uh, we'll, we'll keep that pattern going by not paying you either. We're coming up to 10 to 1. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.